Hello Sagittarius, Elsa here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Happy Sunday as I drop these cards. Of course, these readings are always for the week ahead, no matter what day you find them, no matter if you find them for a year from now. I appreciate you for coming here and watching. Thank you so much for participating in the comments. Thank you for your thumbs up and the way you love this channel. I appreciate you. We are just going to use tarot this week, Sagittarius. Let's look at it. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's look at it for you, Sagittarius. I am your Saggy sister. Thank you so much for the ways you support me here in that energy. Here we go. Tell me about Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Whew, okay, there it is. It's coming out in the reverse. What is it? We've got the Five of Wands. Okay, well, if the Five of Wands is coming out, you want it in the reverse. This means that you're no longer beating yourself up. There's no longer this internal struggle, Sagittarius. It feels like you've decided that you're no longer going to argue with yourself. No longer going to fight within here. I like it. Good place to start here. We do have the Hierophant. This is a lesson learned. I like it. This is a lesson learned. It's the higher self. It's the higher lesson. You have a higher importance in this life, Sagittarius, and you've realized that you are no longer going to be fighting yourself about what is to come. Look, I feel like you've let go of something. It could be a way of thinking. It could be something that it feels like you've lifted some sort of a weight off of you, Sagittarius. I like it. We've got the wheel here. Look at that. It's like the universe was just waiting for you to stop the internal struggle, to stop being hard on yourself, to stop the negative talk. And it's a lesson that you've learned. And look, the wheel uh, pops up like that. And here we go. We're on our way. So the wheel of fortune is, of course, change. And what have you done? You've changed your, your ways. You've changed your mind. That's what it feels like here. So the wheel of fortune, of course, is ruling planet is Jupiter, which is direct now since the 1st of January. There are abundant things coming because you were brave enough to make this change. I love it. Good for you. So it feels like with the, with the Hierophant here that there is a lesson learned. And I feel like you have a higher calling, Sag. I feel like it's a realization here as you stop being hard on yourself, thinking negative things, saying negative things to yourself. We all have the real that goes on in our head once in a while. It feels like it is you realize that you have a higher calling. You can no longer be stuck within, stuck with the arguments and stuck in your head. Tell me more, please, about Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Hey, look below this video. You will find the link that says more. Follow that link. You'll find what you need. We've got the King of Cups here. We've got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, um, I, just, I just heard my head. No more fake love. No more fake love. I feel like you're after the real deal now. And I feel that somebody here, the Knight of Wands, was somebody who came into your life and had to teach you that lesson. I think you've learned a lesson here. We have the Fool. I like it. I like it. I like it. We've got uh, the Three of Wands. We've got the Knight of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. I love it. So this is the week ahead. This is a little bit further to that. That's going, it's a sneak peek into the end of the month. So let's take a look at this here. It really does feel here, Sagittarius, like there was a change of mind. I feel like you you stopped arguing with yourself or beating yourself up about the Knight of Wands. I feel like the Knight of Wands was a karmic relationship for you or a karmic situation. It feels like the Knight of Wands is someone who didn't give you any stability, who is very attractive, very desirable. They desired you. You desired them. It's other fire energy. So it was like kablam. You know, you had this great passionate thing, but without stability, without foundation, what do we get? right? We get the fire that burns out. And so I feel like this person was sent to you to teach you with the differences between the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is somebody who is, um, you know, like I said, not giving you any stability. They're not interested in settling down. I feel like this was a lesson that you had to learn. And that's why the Hierophant is showing up here. It was a lesson in love, I feel. And now I feel after no longer feeling badly about yourself, no longer having the smack talk on the 
the inside, I feel like you realize what you're worth and what you're worth is the King of Cups. Somebody who loves you deeply, who's emotionally available, someone who is strong and protective, someone who has your back, feminine or masculine. Look, Scorpio feminines are fierce, man. And if you can get your, if you can get in good with a Scorpio feminine, you will never need another person at your back. I promise you. But it feels like with Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy here, I feel like you, this Knight of Wands was sent to you to change your mind and change the way you felt about yourself, to let you know that there is a beginning. And when you see it next time, you're going to notice it as the King of Cups because we don't know what the light is until we really experience the dark. And I feel like although this might have been fun at the very beginning, it feels like it sort of wore you down to a nub or it fizzled out or burnt out. Like I'm hearing, like, you know, when you, when you lick your, your fingers and you 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 touch uh, the top of a a candle it feels like that it's like it fizzled out and so i feel like you are going to because of this change here because of the change in the way that you i think you push this person out of your life possibly um you are going to have a new beginning in love the king of cups is here and so it's a water sign right scorpio pisces cancer we're in a general reading just please keep that in mind we'll get along fine this reading is not going to be for everyone and to please just take the bits that are yours and leave the rest behind if i say something that doesn't resonate then maybe that part wasn't for you so let's talk about this um the Hierophant energy here we've got taurus energy uh scorpio pisces cancer we've got aries energy Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Leo tell me about um tell me about the Hierophant please we've got the uh ten of wands yes so the lesson that you learned is that when you when you decide to allow somebody to come in and out of your life whenever they want to I feel like the lesson that you learned here was the ten of wands it becomes very heavy the wands become very heavy it becomes a, a, a burden right at some point it becomes a burden we have the eight of pentacles here yes it's something that you have learned you know all the details you now have become the subject matter expert sag of uh letting people into your life that are just going to do nothing but create burdens and we do have the ace of wands here so i do believe it starts out with the ace of wands it goes to the eight of, of pentacles at some point you start looking over the details and realize you are the most important, right? You need to go over the details. You need to practice the self-management, right? You, It's time for you to release the 10 wands. You can drop them here. That's where the 10 is, right? You can release the burden. And when we go from the from the 10, the ace is in the room as well, right? Because endings create new beginnings. And so... I feel like the, the new exciting beginning that you are causing from learning this lesson here is that um, that you are worth it, that it's time to turn inward, right? The Eight of Pentacles is about self-mastery. It's getting really good at something. And I think what you're getting really good at is... Um, is yourself. I think it's it's the self-mastery piece here. We do have the death card. You're never going to let anyone do this to you again. You've learned this lesson. And the thing is this, Sad, just right when people when people come at us and they cause this kind of chaos in our life and we don't realize it, but as we learn the lesson, we now um now we know we can see them coming, right? We can see these people coming that are doing nothing but really taking advantage of us. And of course, it's a decision that we made, but it's a decision that we'll no longer make here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's happening, fortunately, moving ahead? Because of this change, you're the one that's changed everything. I love it. Tell me about the Wheel, please. We have uh, the Moon energy here. I don't think you realize that by making this change or uh, deciding that you weren't going to let this person back into your life anymore, um, the moon is here. So it's like this situation, I feel for you, it was something that seemed different to you. I think that you thought that this Knight of Wands wanted to settle down. Maybe it was going to be, you know, just a great, crazy, passionate relationship. And um, I feel like this person is someone that you thought you knew because the three of pentacles is here that maybe you've been in a partnership with this person before but maybe it didn't go over the line of passion i feel that you think that there was some stability here that maybe because this person was your friend that um they would stay but they didn't and so i feel like that's what the moon energy is is that something here um is not as it seemed 
And I don't think you realize that, but I do feel like you did learn the lesson. The Three of Pentacles does tell me, though, what you don't see on the other side of the moon energy here, my friend, is that there is another partnership that will be coming on the horizon. It feels like you just need to um, concentrate on the self. Become really good at going over the details of you. I feel like this person didn't put any effort into you and you put all the effort in. The Three of Pentacles is about doing all the hard work and someone else else is watching you do it so I feel like this is someone that you thought was your friend or someone that you knew before you got into this friends with benefits situation that scenario is not going to be for everybody but for you it might have been that maybe you didn't say to each other yeah we're in a relationship but you just automatically assumed that's the way it was going because you knew this person from previous right look what's coming in the future is beautiful as you as you take care of the self, this partnership that's coming up on the other side of the moon energy here because you've made this decision, the beautiful, fortunate thing that's coming is the Four of Wands. So it was up to you to get yourself out of this cycle with the Knight of Wands. And when you did, when you made the change, the universe says it's time to heal. And once you do heal, you will see what's on the other side of the moon. Um, tell me about the Five of Wands in the reverse, please. I think that there, this Knight of Wands created a situation where you weren't the only person in their life. And I think that's what you've come to. You had to make a decision here. The Two of Wands is here. I, I need to. You needed to make a decision to take a different path. And I think that you finally found the courage to do that. Five of Swords. I think you just said to this person, or you will in the week ahead, look. I can't do this with you anymore. You can't just keep crashing into my life, taking what you want, leaving me with nothing, and then not coming back. Like, I feel like it's a... Uh it's the Five of Swords energy between you and the Knight of Wands. You are not on the same page. You are... <clears throat> You're not on the same page, and the Knight of Wands isn't interested in giving you any sort of stability. So you're holding up the sword, and you're like, I'm done with you. We've got the Nine of Swords. So going into the week ahead, I think you're worried about this conversation. So for some of you, the week ahead is where you're finally going to tell the Knight of Wands, look, you're beautiful, and I enjoy your company, and we have a lot of fun together, a lot of passionate fun, but you're not giving me anything, and I'm not doing this anymore. That's the big change that you're making. So my friend, when you do that, you start to see the dark and the light, right? The dark and it brings in the light i feel like the next person the one that brings you the four wands here is somebody who is probably a water sign um, there is a new beginning here um, should you decide to give up the knight of wands energy um, there is a new beginning here tell me about the fool we have the Six of Swords. So there you are. You're moving away, right? You've decided that I, I need to take what I've learned because to me, the Six Swords in the boat, that's what it is. It's all communications, connections, and thoughts. Now you want to take those with you. So somebody here, and it's you, I feel, is moving along. I've got to, I got to move. I got to get away from this energy here. This liar is somebody who is, who can't be in my life anymore. It's a new day. It's a new start. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is Michael Bublé, right? <laughs> it's a new it's a new dawn, it's a new day. And I'm feeling good. I think that you are feeling good about finally telling this person no. I feel like there was things under the surface you couldn't see. I feel like somebody here was concealing things from you, not being honest with you, and so you decide that you're going to make the decision. The decision always was up to you, but I feel like you, because this person, you're attached to them in sort of a friendly way, that you felt that if you cut them out, you'd be hurting them. I feel like in the week ahead that you are going to have either a conversation or you're just going to say to this person outright with the Five of Swords, I'm out. I can't do this with you anymore. We have very different ways of what we think relationship looks like. I'm not into the friends with benefits thing, and I'm, I, I can't hold on to your energy. So I think that the judgment card tells me you make a really big decision about the Seven of Swords. I don't want to be lied to anymore. I don't want people concealing things from me. It's time for me to move on from this energy. The Fool is here. And um, what's coming up with the Fool? 
There we go. Three of Cups. I love it. Page of Coins. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Look, it was a karmic lesson for you. It feels like it might be a cycle you were stuck in, like maybe the last two or three relationships you were in might have gone down this way. But I think this is where you learn the lesson because the Hierophant showed up. And the big decision that you make is to no longer allow people to lie to you. I think that's what the biggest decision is. Um, and this is going, this is the week ahead, but this is going further to the week ahead. Look at this great energy here. The ships that are coming in, right? The ships that are coming in, we've got the Three of Wands. So what is in the future, what you're waiting on or what is going to be coming to you on the other side of this darkness that is the moon energy is this, that somebody is coming in to speak with you. You do have somebody who you will speak with, somebody who's kind of dashing and brave and courageous and somebody who is kind of impulsive but very direct, very chitty chatty. And this person I feel is somebody, they could be Gemini, they don't have to be, but there is some sort of... Um, and um, a new beginning here, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles and there is the stability, right? Because we didn't have any stability when we began here. When we had the first five cards on the table, that all we had was the Knight of Wands and there was no stability here. I feel like you felt that this person was going to give you stability because they were a friend, but they're not. And um, we do have the Ace and I feel like some you are going to start right. The next time, whoever comes in next, who could be... Um, could be someone who is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to start with the stability. Look, you're going to tell them, this is what I want. This is what I expect from you. This is what I've been waiting for. And when they walk away, if they walk away, let them go. But I feel like the judgment here is giving you new perspective. It's like a changing day in your life. You make this decision to not allow the Knight of Wands to come back. And, um, and when you do that, yeah, you're able to move forward here. You're able to move forward to someone else, I feel, who is going to be really lovely in the future here. Something that is going to end up in a in something that's quite serious because the Four of Wands is like halfway to marriage, right? It does feel like that there is something coming in and it is the Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like you're the one taking charge of it now. You're in the Ten of Pentacles energy with the Page of Pentacles. I feel like something really abundant is coming at you and the Three of Cups is like, it could be a date. It could be friends that are asking you to come over for, I think you need to be more social, right? So it feels like friends are going to ask you to come over. You're going to get an invitation. It could be a date for some of you. But the Page of Coins tells me something new is about to bloom and it goes right from the page of coins to the ten of coins so it's it's quite abundant here and it's because you decided that you are no longer going to be bored you're no longer going to sit here wondering what if wondering what if the the ten of uh, the king of coins tells me something really stable is coming toward you here someone who's going to give you reciprocity and love someone who who's going to who's going to be okay with starting at the pentacle level and um, they're going to be okay with starting with stability, friendship, going slowly, moving slowly, because you're worth it. And they're going to see your worth. All right, I'm going to go for now, Sagittarius. I hope that was something that you wanted to hear. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back next week, of course, because I'm always back. Love you guys. I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs>